In this video, I'll be making picric acid from phenol that I prepared in a previous video. So over here, I have around 1 gram of phenol that I transferred in a 100 ml conical flask. To it, I added 1.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid which was first poured in the round bottom flask to extract all the phenol stuck in it. I didn't show this but I did it. The flask was shaken thoroughly and then it was heated on a water bath for 35 minutes. I also placed a thermometer in the water bath to see the temperature of water bath. In this step, the phenol is getting sulfonated at ortho and para positions to form ortho and para hydroxy sulfonic acid. Then it was cooled in an ice bath and the thermometer was placed inside to this 3 ml of fuming nitric acid was added slowly with shaking. I kept the temperature below 20 degrees celsius during the whole addition but still suddenly brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide started evolving. Anyways, I continued the addition after evolution of brown fumes subsided. In this step, the sulfonated phenol is getting substituted with nitro group to form ortho and para nitrophenol. Then the flask was removed from the ice bath and heated on a water bath for 2 hours. Again, brown fumes started evolving. After half an hour, evolution of brown fumes subsided and I placed a thermometer in the water bath just to have a look at the temperature. On heating, trinitration of phenol occurs and picric acid is eventually formed. After 2 hours, the flask was removed from water bath and you could see some yellow solid already precipitating. I kept it in an ice bath. And after cooling, I added 10 to 20 ml of water, and a yellow PPT is immediately formed. Then I again kept it in the ice bath to precipitate most of the picric acid. Picric acid is slightly soluble in water, so I recommend using least amount of water that is around 3 to 5 ml only. But since there are strong acids present in high concentration, they would decrease the solubility of picric acid preferably. The precipitate was then vacuum filtered. I didn't use any extra water to wash the crude picric acid. This is the crude picric acid. Then I transferred the crude picric acid into a 100 ml beaker. To this I added 5 ml of 50 to 60 percent ethanol and heated it in a water bath. Eventually, all the solid dissolved, then it was kept at room temperature to cool slowly. Some crystals started to appear. To get maximum crystals, I placed the beaker in ice bath and the amount of crystals significantly increased. Then the crystals were filtered off using a Buchner funnel. Using the same other liquor, all the crystals were transferred into the Buckner funnel that I didn't show here. This is recrystallized picric acid. After drying, yield came about to be 0.5 grams that corresponds to a percentage yield of 36%. I upload videos every Tuesday, so subscribe to my channel. If you like my work, you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.